rhyme every time I sing. Oh! Yeah, it's all this fucking happens. He's gonna jump in and stop because of the fucking gaps. They put the same tyres <laughs> on! They put the oh. same tyres on! Oh, I got a puncher, I got a puncher, I got a puncher. So have I, so have I. Who's not gonna work? Who's gonna puncher? What the hell? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just let me go. Cheers. What the fuck? I'm gonna be able oh, to do one. No. You're not. No. No, you're not. No. What's happened, Chris Johnson? Oh, Johnson's oh, got one. This corner as well. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yes! Chris has gone off, Chris has gone off, Chris has gone off. Chris is off! Yeah, he's got the front wing. Front wing or something. Oh, I'm in the fucking PX this! <laughs> <laughs> Who's losing?
Oh, the area are for a very cloudy Canada here today for the circuit, Jill Bruno. The lights are building up. Three, four, five. Cool. Oh, nice nice start. What is this race going to be? For the leaders. Looks like chaos. Jose is dropping back down the field epically. Let's have a look at this. Everyone's just about cleaning through the first couple of corners, are they? Yes, they are. Everyone through nice and clean through the first couple of corners. Let's have a look at Jack Pearson's view. Jose. Very tight, side by side with one of the Williams Salvers, that's Williams F1 Mad, they make contact, they're both in the wall, Williams F1 Mad and Joe Sayer both end up in the wall at the back of the field, oh. he's up into third, Ace of Pace down to fourth, and it's all getting very tight, Ace of Pace, Mike Nain, Chris Ergen, John Luke Taylor, John Luke Taylor getting all very close to the back of him, John Luke Taylor's going to make a move down Chris Ergen, what? down the inside into turn one, that is, boom, that was impressive, and fair play to Jean-Luc Taylor, he's up into P2 and now it's a Lotus 1-2 but Chris Thurgood's looking down the inside for P number 2, down the inside into 3 and he gets the position back, but Jean-Luc Taylor's back down the inside, side by side round turn 5, and will he, he has the inside line for 6, 6, does he get the move done into 6, and still side by side, still side by side, Chris Thurgood's still in front, side by side, oh, nearly contact, and Ace of Pace wants to get join in with his action, nearly making it pretty wide there. Round the outside, he goes, there's contact! Ace of Pace and Chris Bergen are in the wall! Chris Bergen spun round, spun round! What's happened to Ace of Pace? Sean Luke Taylor's been gifted this second position now, and Chris Bergen's had enough and retired from the session. Ace of Pace has no front wing. Through eight and nine they go. Dom Smith still third. And Paul McGee, he's going to have a look to the outside of the hairpin, is he? No, not quite. Is he going to try and tell the dummy go to the inside? No, he's going to try and go round the outside of the hairpin. That's never going to work. Chris Johnson's going to try and sneak up the inside because of it. And he's just got yeah, a wheel there, but he's going to have to slot him behind. This is great scrapping. Four drivers all split by about half a second at the moment. Dom Smith is just going to be a sitting duck on this straight as they head towards the final chicane. Paul McGee, is he going to get the move done? He's blocking, he's blocking, he doesn't quite get the move done. Chris Johnson's had to get... Chris Johnson, what a move round the outside of Paul McGee. And up into P4 now. Paul McGee, but Paul McGee's going to look down the inside, try and get the move back into turn one. Not quite, it looked like there was going to be contact from that camera angle, but there wasn't. Fair play from Chris the two Johnson. drivers. Nice. Four car battle. This is a phenomenal scrap between these two drivers. I'm not even focusing on the battle at the front, because this is just such a good scrap at this moment in time. Round the outside, Paul McGee ah, is going to try and get the move done. On the traction, does he get the move done? This will be a fast story oh. move if he doesn't, he's done it. And Dom Smith doesn't have DRS either. So this is bad for Dom Smith. Or does he? I can't tell from the wear rings. No he doesn't, Paul McGee has the DRS there. Well neither of them do, but Dom Smith is back past again. Paul McGee heading into the pit lane. Jack Pearson also heading into the pit lane. Where are the two? There's Dom Smith. Where's the manor driver? The manor driver stayed out, of course, but Dom Smith is still right with him in the middle of this scrap. This has just been such a phenomenal scrap. We don't really care about what else is happening in this field. Paul McGee, you got to have a bird's eye view of these two. Come on. Dom Smith, going to have a look down the inside. Is he? Is Jack Pearson? No, not quite. Where is no, Chris Johnson? Chris, come on. Got it in 10th. Williams F1 mad 11th. John Luke Taylor's now leading the race from Chris Johnson. Mike Noon's pitted. So where's Chris Thompson? You've got Mike Noon all over the back of him, who's just pitted for the prime tyres, the softer yellow tyres. So, Dom Smith having to defend wildly from the cars behind. The chasing pack of four drivers, they're back where they were before the stops, and they're filtering out three wide along the back straight. Dom Smith coming to the outside, Jack Pearson's made the move on him, and he's stuck behind him. Paul McG he's diving to the inside, pulls down the inside. Many poo noises coming out from Dom Smith there on the team radio as they head down the back straight. Jack Pearson going to be a sitting duck. Everyone's got the DRS behind him. Oh, this is mental. Ah, oh, everyone slots in again and they're filtering in like coffee. It's Whoa. unbelievable. Mike Noon in the lead. Jean-Luc Taylor all over the back of him there as they head towards the end of the straight, onto the casino straight they go. Head towards the chicane with the wall of champions. He's a lot closer than the has been Jean-Luc Taylor. Mike Noon having to defend this time round. Jean-Luc Taylor looking to the outside. 
Can he get the move done around the outside? Can he pull a Chris Johnson? No, not quite. They don't want to hit each other, these two drivers. As everyone would go at the kick there. Everyone just go mad in the pit lane at Lotus. So, Mike Noon leading still. John Luke Taylor second. Being careful with each other. Phil Bardrill back eight seconds back in third. So if one of them has an issue and has to pick again, Phil Bardrill will look into a second place. Dom Smith still in fourth. We've got Phil Bardrill. Paul McGee all over the back of him. He's looking to the DRS. Gonna go round the outside of turn one, can he? Phil Paul round the outside gets the line for turn two and he gets That's that a fourth line. position of Dom Smith. So he gets the position of Dom Smith. I bet that's not right side heading towards three and four. Can he get the move back? Dom Smith gets the move back. Jack Pearson has got into what's happened there? Alex. Wow! Wow, Ace of Pace. Learn to oh, wow. Well. You Chris Johnson's lost his front wing. That. Ace of Pace is still going with a front wing, but he's dropped back many positions, so I'm not sure what's happened there. But Ace of Pace what has lost more fuck? points oh, again in this got? race, and now he's stuck behind me. Gully of all people in his Salva. So, Chris Ace Johnson, of Pace. look where you are going. Oh, wow, oh, everyone's not very happy. And now Jack Pearson's lost the front wing because of an incident with Chris Johnson. <laughs> I can't he's going to his house and it's all revolving around one driver and this one driver being Chris Johnson. What is this man a driver doing today? Oh he's not God. making he's any new friends out there today. He's not learning any respect. Jack just cutting the corners left, right and centre. I've got to watch from Williams F1 Mad's point of view because uh, Ace Pace is all over the back of Gullit, his teammate. Oh, line of stern. Williams F1 Mad just watching in the distance. Got Ace of Pace, is he going to go round the outside into the chicane? God is going to defend, and no, Ace of Pace gets the move done through the chicane and up into P7. Jean-Luc Taylor in second, he's about a second behind now, so I don't know what's happened there. So, Mike's in the lead, missed all that, because it's just been such a chaotic race. Gullid has been disqualified from the session and he is running down in a lowly 9th or 10th position. Paul McGee back past once again. And Alex is going to fly past the pair of them, is he? He's got Dom Smith. Is he going to nick another position? No, he isn't. Oh, so close to nicking a position. Paul McGee 4. Dom Smith 5th. Alex 6th. I'm not sure where the leaders are on the circuit, but I don't want to take my eyes off this battle for 4th position. Paul McGee. Alex. Ace of Pace lurking in the background as well. So, round they go. This is the final lap of this race. It's been such an exciting race between these guys. Round they go. Through six and seven. Paul McGee onto the back straight. Just got a few more corners to hold on. We've got the quick chicane, the hairpin, and then the final chicane. So, Dom Smith lurking in the background once again. I'm going to have to look at this leaders to see where they are. John Luke Taylor. Mike Noon is going to come home and take victory here in the Lotus. And it's going to be a 1 2 for the team of Lotus. Phil Bardo has got to come home third, but I need to go back to this battle for fourth position. On. Head onto the back straight. Dom Smith, fourth. Fifth even. Paul McGee, fourth. Alex in sixth. Ace of Pace in back, at the back of them in seventh. So, so round the outside they go. Is Dom Smith going to go round the outside? So no tight. Way. So, so tight. So three wide. Alex is going to try and make it four wide. This is unbelievable speed. Alex makes fourth position. Dom Smith gets oh. fifth. No. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Crash made that interesting. Looking good for Phil. Jack is really close. Jack's having a look on the outside. Oh, he nearly went for it. He nearly went for it, but it wasn't enough. Phil slips inside as we have the final corner, and finally gets his first win in TGB1. What a belting race. A bell, four car battle pretty much the entire race. Paul McGee, Dom Smith, inseparable pretty much the entire time. And here are the final results. Mike Noon wins by. Wow! Five hundredths of a second. Visualize it.